Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. I kind of just, honestly, I don't know what to film. If you have any recommendations on what you'd like to see from me, please do leave it down below. So I figured we would just do a chit chat, get ready with me because if there's one thing I am good at here on my channel, it's yapping. I have my little to go makeup bag that I just keep packed. And honestly, this is the makeup that I'm gonna leave packed. I'll, I'll switch a couple of things out here and there, you know, because we do get bored and we do like to switch it up, but the summer is here. Well, the summer's not here, it's spring, but summer is fastly approaching and it's almost Memorial Day weekend, which I'm shooketh as to how this happened. Most people during the warmer months, we tend to like bop along, go different places. So my intent today is to show you the makeup that I'm going to be traveling with this upcoming warm season. So I'm very excited to get into it. It is a gloomy day. I feel like this May, you know, they say April showers bring May flowers. May has just been a total and complete washout. So I do apologize for the lighting. It's not great lighting, but I'm by a window. I have a few lights, so hopefully it'll look all right. I don't know what to say. I have been using this for the last few days. I bought this during the Sephora sale and it is literally the La Roche Posay, the exact one that I have that I bought off Amazon. It's literally that, but like in much better packaging. And I'm a little mad because if you guys know, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross SPF 50. I'm trying to just wear SPF 50. So it has a pump. And what I do is, oh, I need to spray my face though. Using a little bit of skincare mist. This is Peach and Lily. to make the skin a little damp. I don't love the La Roche-Posay because it's not super hydrating. And this is also not super hydrating. If you've been a frequenter here on my channel, you know I love the Murad Perfecting Day Cream. It is so nice. It has only has SPF 30 though, which is the problem. But I love how it's like a thicker face cream, but it doesn't feel like sunscreen. It just feels like a luxurious moisturizer for your face with the benefits of SPF 30. Love the Murad one the best, but again, I'm trying to do SPF 50. So between this and the La Roche-Posay, I like this better because the La Roche-Posay is thinner. This is a little bit more moisturizing than La Roche-Posay. I'm gonna do one more full finger of that. So this is a little bit more moisturizing. It doesn't leave as much of a white cast. Like it will if you don't blend it in, but the La Roche-Posay one, I've told you this before, but sometimes it gets stuck in my brows and I really need to just like take the time to make sure it's not along my hairline. It's not stuck in my brows. So I do like this better, but still not, it's still not a slam dunk. I'm just, I really want Murad to take their Perfecting Day Cream and make it a 50. Maran, please. Do people still use, you can't even call it Twitter. What is it, X now? I just hate it. I hate going on X, Twitter, whatever it is. I do go on to share my workout routine every day. So I work out using YouTube. Right now I'm doing Sydney Cummings Summertime Vine program. So every time I'm done with a YouTube workout, I upload it to my X account just for like accountability purposes. I'm wondering, are you guys on threads? Let me know. Like I'm wondering if I should maybe move over to threads and stop using X Twitter just cause I really don't like it. Honestly, I'm really not enjoying X right now and I'm not enjoying TikTok. TikTok, like I'm stuck in the sad TikTok realm. Anybody else? I'm gonna continue on as I speak, but I'm gonna use my Uli Hendrickson Banana Bright. I use this all the time. I'm stuck in the sad TikTok and it's funny. Well, it's not funny, it's terrible. I sob every time I open that app and I just don't need more reasons to be sad. I feel like the world is heavy. Every time I go on there, it like serves me these super depressing, like honestly, all the TikToks are about death. Whether it's like a family member passing away from cancer, which I don't need, I don't need that because we all know I did that personally. I don't need to relive my trauma through other people's traumas, you know? Or like people's cats passing away, which I cannot, I can't. Twitter always feeds me, or X, I'm sorry, I keep saying that. I'm just gonna refer to it as X. X always feeds me fist fighting and I don't understand that at all. That's terrible. Did somebody mark me as like, I like disturbing content because I don't. I really, I really don't. I'm using my Laneige lip sleeping mask. So I've just personally kind of been off of the short form content and I know that's not good because short form content is all the rage. But like even on Instagram, I have not been going on Instagram. And I have to say, I think I'm in a happier place mentally. And I haven't really been watching as many YouTube videos as I normally do either. Like I used to always watch 
YouTube videos when I'm on the treadmill or like when I'm commuting to or from work, but I've just been editing my own content on the treadmill while commuting. I've just honestly have been a much more selfish version of me lately, which I think is what my soul has needed. I feel like a different person. We'll see how long this lasts though, because we all know we go through different phases of life. I'm gonna use the Dior Skin Corrector. You know, if you watched my favorites of April video, I mentioned it like 20 times. I honestly felt like saying, take a sip of your wine or whatever cocktail or preference every time I say that I'm neglecting myself because I must've said it 55 times in that video. It was like kind of annoying. I was annoyed like listening to myself, but it really stuck with me and it really resonated with me. I have just been working out, eating better. Although yesterday was such a beautiful day that Mike and I just like ran around town. We, we ran errands all day long. We ended up stopping by one of our like favorite bars because we were in the area and we sat outside and we had a glass of wine and then we came home and I made a portioned control cheese plate because I am counting my macros on my fitness pal. I'm on a fitness journey, like I said, I'm doing Sydney Cummings summertime fine workout program. So I'm trying to eat healthy because honestly, working out is great and working out has never been my issue. I love working out. It's mental clarity for me. It's like an easy thing to check off of my to-do list. I always thought I was a decent eater until I started tracking my macros and I saw just how little protein I eat and how much fat. I eat. If you would like a little bit more insight into your eating habits, I think like you don't need to necessarily go on a diet and you don't necessarily need to count your calories, but maybe just track what you eat during the week and see like what your macro breakdown is. If you don't know what macros are, it's fat percentage, carb percentage, and protein percentage. I just feel like it's very enlightening. Like I think we're all a little confused diet culture and society, like everyone, not everyone, but you know, there's like keto. There's vegetarian, there's pescatarian, but the reality is, is like just because something's vegetarian doesn't mean that it's healthy. And just because you are a vegetarian, like that doesn't automatically make you healthy, especially if you're not getting enough protein to help support your active lifestyle. It's a whole thing, I don't know. And I'm not a nutritionist. I just like to learn knowledge and things that I enjoy. And fitness has always been a passion of mine and I'm just trying to support my fitness goals with my eating just so that I get more gains because right now I'm all about the gains. Rare Beauty, I have the shade Bright Side and I just love a cream stick. Like when you are in a rush, which I'm always in a rush. Surprisingly today, I'm not in that big of a rush, but I'll probably still sit here for far too long and then make myself in a rush. A contour stick is so good. I've been really loving the NARS Laguna Bronzer, but it comes in a pot. That's just not as quick for me, so. I don't know, it does make all the difference. I've also been really loving this Rare Beauty brush. This is the blush brush, but I use it to blend out the contour. So yeah, I've just, I've really taken a break from social media and, but I kind of want to get back to like TikTok and uploading shorter form content. I did film a video the other day. Let me know if you guys want to see it. I may have uploaded it by now, honestly, but I've really been hemming and hawing. I'm usually pretty good at just uploading. Totally fine with putting myself out there on the internet. I don't know what it is. Like it doesn't bother me. You know, I mean, I've been uploading on YouTube for like years now, but I just feel like the shorter form content, and I've talked about this before. I just feel like I am so awkward in it because you don't really get to see my personality shine through. And I feel like the best thing about my videos is that I'm a little all over the place. And I think the best thing about that is that people find that relatable. Whereas I don't feel super relatable on shorter form content. I feel like I'm kind of just like reading a script, which I am because oftentimes I do voiceovers with my shorts because I just babble. And if I sit down and I hit play and I try to like record, I can't like get the words out of my mouth. I feel like I get nervous. And then I like add extra words like, like, eh, meh, duh. I don't know. I just, I can't get it together. So I'll just film me like painting my face here, not talking. And then I'll do a voiceover. And I literally type out what I'm gonna say in my voiceover so that I'm sitting here with a microphone reading my script. And I just feel like it's very like I'm reading a script. I'm trying to think of the script in ways that I would say things, but I just say things very long-winded sometimes, which a lot of you know. I feel like this has been a topic a lot lately. I feel like people are moving away from YouTube and long form content still. I really had high hopes that it was coming back. I'm gonna stay here because I just feel 
Like I love it here. I just feel like I belong here. I had a feeling it was coming back and I don't know, <laughs> I don't feel like it's coming back anymore. I feel like a lot of people are kind of off of the beauty community, which I don't even think that I can necessarily categorize myself as the beauty community because I vlog and I do a bunch of other things and I talk about death and grief and living with anxiety. I haven't been diagnosed with ADHD, but some days I really feel like I kind of have ADHD. Like my anxiety sends me to a whole other level, which I've been better with that lately since keeping up with my happiness to-do list. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I'll link that video here. Tower 28 cream blush in the shade Rush Hour. So I've been better in like the manic anxiety department, but what was I saying? I will go out of my way. And despite this, TikTok still doesn't serve me the crap that I want to see, but I will go out of my way to find content that's beauty related. Like I love Tati Westbrook. I follow her TikTok account. She goes live like twice a week. Although I never join the lives because they're at such inconvenient times. Like I think she does them on Saturdays and Wednesday nights at like seven. And it's like, I'm winding down. Like this is my husband time, my cat blanket time, my wine time. So I never like log in or not log in, but join in on her lives. I'm doing a lot of talking. See, this is why I'm terrible at short form content. I'm just terrible at it. I just feel like people love beauty more on TikTok. Although I am like a little skeptical because I feel like a lot of people are influencers, which nothing is wrong with being an influencer. One could say that I am an influencer. I may influence you to buy some of these products today, although probably not because I'm not really talking about them. Recommendations that I have tried off of TikTok. I don't love the products that have been suggested to me and I, it kind of makes me wonder, did this woman, man, whoever it is, content creator, just like get paid to try this product. And so they tried it for the first time while filming and just made it seem like, are they a good actor? Cause that's kind of how I feel. So I don't know. I don't really take advice on TikTok in terms of like beauty anymore. I have those that I love and adore here on YouTube, like Tachi and Alana Davison and in the fro, Victoria. So I don't know. I just feel like I will always trust certain people and I will always trust YouTube more. I don't know, is this relatable? Is this making any sense or do we just not care? Like, why do you go on TikTok if you do go on TikTok? Is it just like the fact that it's shorter form content? You don't have to dedicate as much time. Although I dare to say, you probably spend just as much time on TikTok as you would watching one of my YouTube videos because the, the suction, of the scrolling, it's really real. Now I would use a puff, but I don't have one in front of me. So I'm just gonna use this brush to just set my under eyes and whatnot. Anyway, that's my rant. I'm not trying to like diss TikTok or like any of the other short form things. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't resonate with me as much. Although I want to be a part of the community because I just feel like beauty is spoken upon in a much more engaged level. I just feel like ever since the whole drama with all of the beauty influencers, YouTube has never come back. Like, and I really want it to be resurrected. But I do love my vlogs and honestly vlogging, like I love sitting here and talking to you guys, but vlogging is really like my sweet spot. Like I love just taking you throughout the house, throughout my weekend, on my travels, hourglass. And I'm gonna dip into this bronzer right here with my hourglass brush. I was going through my collection and I have way too much makeup. So. I don't need to buy any makeup. I kind of just want to like go through my collection, feel a little less cluttered. The clutter gives me anxiety and the wastefulness, there is nothing that makes me more anxious than being wasteful. I can't explain it to you. So I think I'm just gonna live in the land of only buying makeup products, one out, one in. So when I finish my concealer or say something goes bad and I need to throw it out, I can then replace it, except for lip products because I do wear them all the time and I genuinely love lip products. Mike and I went to Napa and we went to Nashville. I'm taking my spoolie list because the spoolie always falls off of this thing, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. We went to Napa in the beginning of April and then we went to Nashville and I'm a little sour with my husband. I'm not going to lie to you because he, I'm not sour because he sucked it up and he went with me and I know that he doesn't love country music and I know that he's not a Tim McGraw fan. So whatever, we went to the Tim McGraw concert. That's why we were there. But ever since we got back from Nashville, he like has made a country music playlist. And it's like, Senjor, why couldn't you have done this before we went to Nashville? Because 
you could have been in the honky tonk country spirit then, but it's fine. I guess I'll just, I gotta take it as it comes. And you know, I feel like he kind of wants to go back to Nashville and I would totally go back to Nashville, but I honestly need to stop drinking. Not that I have a problem, but guys, like all winter, I went from not drinking anything to then I just feel like I was on vacation. And in Napa, all you do is drink wine, although you don't have to, but that's what we choose to do. So that's all we did. Prior to Nashville, I cannot tell you the last time I had a damn vodka soda, but that is all I drank while we were there. And so honestly, the thought of alcohol, although last night I did have three glasses of wine, just because when the weather is good and you have a good red from, from Napa, how do you say no? This has been in my collection forever and I don't reach for it. So when I was going through my collection over the weekend, I pulled this out. This is Il Maquillage. This is in a single shadow called News Flash. And it looks dark, but I kind of just like buff it out and frame my eye with it. I really like this brush. It's a little weird. It's like a flat brush. But it kind of has like angles on the side of it. This is a Luxie 239 Precision Shader. And I kind of just picked this up and put this all over the lid and kind of just like frame my eye with it. I hardly ever do eyeshadow anymore. It's not really my vibe, but I want it to be my vibe. Like I just want to get back into enjoying it all. So I kind of just put it all over my lid. I hate that this doesn't have a mirror, although why would it? Cause it is a single shadow. And then I kind of just frame my eye. So I pick up the shadow with the side of the brush and I just frame my eye and I kind of just like bring it out in like a lifted, can you see how that kind of just lifts my eye a bit? In a lifted kind of like shadow wing, although it's not a wing, but you get what I'm saying. It's like shaping and framing my eye to go up. I'm really excited for the summer. I don't remember what I was saying, but let's move on to another topic because I, <laughs> It's funny because I was working out. Today is my rest day. Like I said, I'm following Sydney Cummings summertime fine. So today in the program, it's a rest day, but I did, I wanna move my body because if I don't move my body, I am stiff as hell. And I'm still trying to stretch every day to make sure my hip is in a good spot because your girl worked really hard to get here. For the last few months, I've been lightly working out because I really wanted to be able to join Sydney summertime fine. And I'm so proud of myself, honestly, for being easy with myself when I need to be easy with myself. Like I am one of those people, and I know a lot of people who are not like this, but when I work out, if I need to modify, I'm not gonna push myself today to be so hurt tomorrow that it hurts to work out or that I hurt myself and I can't work out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really proud of myself for going gentle on myself when I need to. And can you see, that's just a little bit of shadow framing the eyes. It's really pretty. It's like shadow, but not, you know? I've been doing my PT stretches every single day because I don't want my hip to go back to being in pain. I'm taking the YSL Lash Clash in brown. I've just been trying to take care of myself. So, you know, go easy on yourself. I feel like now is the time where everyone like jumps into a workout routine or a nutrition routine. And it's like, you know, not every day is gonna be perfect. And I think that that's something that people fail to mention. If you do Sydney Cummings workouts, she preaches this all the time and it's so true. So I'm preaching what, what Sydney preaches. Not every day is gonna be your best day. You know, some days like yesterday, you know, I've been eating really healthy. I've been counting my macros, but like last night I had three glasses of wine. Wine has a lot of calories in it, okay? And then at the end of the night, I wanted an ice cream cone. And that was the first time that I went over my calorie budget. I'm trying to be good, but I'm also trying to enjoy. Like last night we sat outside, we had a glass of wine and I wanted a cheese board. So I weighed out two ounces of cheese. That has a lot of fat in it though, but you know, I can't even imagine how many ounces of cheese I eat when there's a huge cheese board in front of me and Mike and I just slam it. So I'm trying to enjoy, but also try to be a little self-conscious. Yesterday wasn't a perfect day, but that doesn't mean that I need to dwell on that. And that doesn't mean that I can't pick it up and do a good job today. I find like a lot of people in fitness, well, they don't really make it a lifestyle. It's kind of like, all or nothing. I started my Saturday off and I ate terribly, so screw it. I'm just gonna eat terribly the whole weekend. Like, no, it's okay. Life happens, things happen. Some days you're gonna miss a workout, but then the next day you just try your best to get back 
in the saddle. I'm trying to be gracious with myself and I'm trying to accomplish my goals while knowing that I need to be a little bit easy on myself in order to get to my goals. Because if you put too much pressure on yourself, you're never going to achieve the things that you want to achieve because you kind of just like paralyze yourself. It's called perfection paralysis, which I'm really gonna show my age here, but all my Tumblr girlies out there or Tumblr guys out there, that was that is my Tumblr name. I'm pretty sure I still have Tumblr. I just don't go on it. When I think of my college career, a lot of my college nights consisted of me drinking and reposting things on my Tumblr page. It was just such a vibe. It was such a time. Very long rant short. I'm so sorry. I really, this morning, like, I was saying this before and then I got totally off track, but it's my rest day. So I was walking on the treadmill and I was thinking to myself, gee, you know, I wanna do a chit chat already with me, but what am I gonna talk to them about today? Clearly I come up with things to talk about. I kinda wanna wear this lipstick. I haven't worn this. I featured this in a video. I'll link it here. Cause I honestly don't even know what video it was, but this is the Bobbi Brown crushed lip color in lilac. And then I know I said that I'm on a no buy for the next few months, but I was watching Alana Davison today and she put on the new Dior lip glow. It's called like pink lilac or something. Oh my God, it looks so good on her. I really, really want it, but I should not buy it. That inspired me to find my Bobbi Brown lilac because I want to wear the things that I buy instead of wasting them. So I'm going to use Strip Down by MAC. This is like my everyday lip liner. It's just such a good color for me. It goes with my skin tone. You know, this no buy is hard though. And I'm gonna blame my girlfriend here on YouTube, my fellow Jersey girl, Melissa. Oh my God, Melissa Lorraine. I love her content. She uploads so much makeup content and that is the content that I'm here for. And every time she uploads a video, I, I honestly come out with a list. Like I'll watch her videos on my iPad while I'm walking on the treadmill. And then I have my phone and I just add so many things to my Sephora cart. So many, I have like 12 things in my Sephora cart because of her videos. I love all the stuff that she tries and I really love like her down to earth. She's very relatable. I just find like her and I would have a good time. Like her and I could sit down and do our makeup together and we would have a great time sharing all the makeup things. But she tried the NARS, I forget exactly what it's called, but I will put it down below, but and I'll also link her video. But she tried this under eye, it's like a neutralizer for your under eye. It's not concealer. It kind of just like cancels out the darkness. It's like a one and done. It made such a difference under her eyes and it made me think of the Becca. Do we remember, is Becca still around? I thought Becca got discontinued. But do we remember the Becca under eye color corrector? It was like a pink pot. It did what Becca did, but oh my God, when she put it under her eyes, it looked seamless, flawless, smooth. It was like Becca, but a much thinner kind of consistency. I love Melissa. I will not stop watching her videos, but I really want to stop watching her videos because like I said, being on this no buy, she makes it very hard. And my girl went in, <laughs> she went in at the Sephora sale and it was so relatable. Like honestly, every time I watch her videos, I feel heard and I feel seen because I always feel like I'm an, uh, I always feel like I'm a little crazy. How many things that I buy? But she, this time, this time I was pretty modest. And that's really, you know, def depends on your definition of modest, but she bought all the things that my heart really wanted to buy. I know she uploaded some kind of like Mac side-by-side -side video. I really want to watch that. I have really recently become a Mac girly. Like I miss, I miss Mac. All right, let me go throw my earrings in and yeah, get it together. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. Honestly, I just want to tell you this. I don't know much about hair, okay? I just feel compelled to um, tell you this little story. Very quick story. I will keep it short because Lord Jesus knows I've been talking a lot. I got my hair colored, obviously, which by the way, I have to say, I don't know what's happening with my hair and this might sound like a bad thing, but to me, it's a good thing because I have a lot of personalities, I feel like, inside me some days. And the day that I wash my hair, my hair looks a little red. It has like a penny like a penny, like the color of a penny. It's kind of got like an auburn kind of vibe to it. And then it gets blonder and then it gets more brown. So I feel like I have a mood ring, mood ring hair, which is what I keep referring to it as. So I'm loving it. I don't really know. That might not be your vibe. You might just want one consistent hair look, 
but I don't know. I kind of like that it changes shades throughout the week. But the last time that I went, I booked an appointment and I decided with my hairstylist that we were gonna do less. Like I decided to go from pretty blonde for me to more brunette. So we had free time in my appointment and she convinced me to do, I think it's K18, is that the brand that everybody loves? But it's like a K18 conditioning treatment. I don't know if everyone does this, but she told me that for the K18 to really adhere to your hair, you can't use conditioner. You guys know I try to take really good care of my hair. I take biotin, I drink collagen every morning in my coffee, I hair oil once a week, I don't brush my hair out when it's wet, I wait until my hair is dry before I brush it out. So I do a pretty extensive job to make sure that I'm not damaging my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. However, since she put the K18 in and then she couldn't use conditioner, she just like raked the shit out of my hair and combed my hair out. She washed it out and then didn't use conditioner. And ever since then, I just have so many like broken hairs on top of my head. And this is what I've been trying to prevent by doing all the things that I do. So I do not recommend, I they drive me crazy and I was gonna go in the bathroom and straighten the top of my hair to kind of like tame the flyaways, but it's raining out, surprise, because that's all that it does in New Jersey is rain. So I'm not gonna bother, um, but if you're thinking about a K18 treatment, do your due diligence, ask your hairdresser if she uses a conditioner prior to, I don't know, I just feel like she raked my hair and I love the color, I'm very happy with the hair, but I'm very unhappy with the dead, uh, not dead, but broken hairs on top. So I love you guys so much. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a little hand heart emoji. That is personally my favorite emoji. I use it all the time, uh, but leave me a little hand heart emoji. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like any of the makeup? Do you use any of the makeup that I mentioned today? Although this video really was not about the makeup, but anything you wanna talk about, please do be sure to leave it down below in the comments. If you have a recommendation video for me, please let me know what it is you wanna see because I have been really trying to upload twice a week, but I'm struggling to come up with ideas for that second video. Like I vlog every week, but like, I love a sit down video like this. I do really love a chit chat get ready with me, but I feel like I use the same products over and over again in the chit chat get ready with me, especially because I'm not buying new products. So I don't know, I like a part of me wants to go out and buy new makeup and buy things so that I can talk about them with you guys but I just feel like my soul needs a cleanse. And I'm really happy with the makeup that is currently in my collection. I just kind of want to be a more minimalist, simplified kind of woman. I just feel like it makes my life a little bit easier. So I don't know. I'm sorry if this video was all over the place, but I hope you know how much I love you. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.